Now your storm track weather with meteorologist Becky Taylor. Welcome back. It just turned 515 here on this Thursday morning and we've got a look out of our Mayetta camera, of course, dealing with the fog again this morning. So some dense fog across portions of the area. This is freezing fog again, too. So watch out for a couple slick spots, maybe on bridges and overpasses again. Give yourselves lots of time to get to where you need to go today. 31 degrees currently in Topeka. Winds are calm, but we do have a little bit of an easterly breeze in some cases as high as almost five to 10 miles per hour at the most in our western counties. And that is actually helping to uh, kind of move this fog around just a little bit further off to the west. That's actually where the more dense fog is just outside of our viewing area this morning, but we're still seeing some of that across our northern and western counties. Now this wind will continue today, but slowly shift around just a little bit more of a southerly component coming in overnight tonight and into tomorrow. Not going to be very strong about 5 to 10 throughout this whole time, but through the daytime tomorrow we will notice uh, more of a northerly turn as the storm system comes in and pulls in some cooler air with it. So temperatures we've got upper 20s to low 30s for the most part. 26 degrees at Burlington, 27 in Emporia, a few 30s in Marysville, Hiawatha and Clay Center, and we're at 29 degrees in Lawrence right now. Later on today, we will have some clouds moving in once our fog starts to dissipate, probably happening around mid morning or so. But that fog and that cloud cover should help to keep temperatures a little cooler, maybe some mid to upper 30s to the north, low 40s perhaps in our southern counties. Later tonight, dropping back into the 30s, but we will have some more clouds working their way in. So that will help to keep temperatures limited throughout the daytime tomorrow. I think at the warmest, we may make it up into the middle 30s tomorrow afternoon. As of right now, it does look like temperatures will be cool enough that we'll likely see all snow with this one, but with these slightly warmer temperatures, maybe not seeing quite as many impacts from it uh, as that snow hits the ground. It may start to melt just a little bit, especially in the afternoon and maybe accumulate more so on grassy elevated surfaces first. Now our satellite and radar picking up on our fog this morning you can see those dark gray uh, clouds showing up here on our satellite. Once that clears out mid morning or so, we'll actually be watching for these clouds here across the desert southwest to make their way into our area. That's ahead of that system. There's that circulation there approaching the Four Corners region and that's going to make it towards us by tomorrow. Future track starts at 7 a.m. We've got that fog lingering for a little while. By lunchtime should be cleared out and then we'll see more clouds working their way in later this afternoon and evening. It looks like your morning commute tomorrow should be A-OK. -okay. We're not really expecting that snow until after we get to maybe 8, 9 o'clock in the morning, and then that snow starts to work its way to the north. Eventually, though, your evening commute might be a different story. We'll have to plan on some snow showers, maybe some slick conditions as you're heading home tomorrow afternoon and evening, and then that tapers off by the evening hours, too. So we will be watching uh, the potential for some light accumulations. We may at most see one to even two inches of snow in our southern counties. The heavier totals will be out in western and south central Kansas, but we could get as high as maybe two, three inches at the very most in some of our southern areas, maybe upwards of one inch everywhere else here. So some light snowfall expected with this first round. The next round, though, that one could be a whole lot more impactful. A little bit of a break over the weekend. Our temperatures are trending a little bit cooler with this one for Monday and Tuesday. And we may see more snow, maybe mixing with rain at times, but our winds are going to be fairly strong, too. So if we do see that snow with those winds uh, around 10 to 20 with some higher gusts, that could cause some uh, issues, especially with reduced visibility. So we've got our eye on that one for sure heading into the first part of next week.